Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to the Weekend Mini Project and the Advanced Wars War Room. Uh, now if you guys don't remember, uh, this is actually a project I got halfway through before I decided to uh, take a break on it and uh, basically I'm going to try and resume the project. Uh, I have ten more War Rooms maps left and the next one I'm going to do is Ridge Island. And uh, if you don't remember, I actually skipped this one uh, when I went through the list originally uh, because I had some problems with this and I wanted to have a decent strategy before I could actually, you know, do this properly. So I kind of have a bit of a strategy now. I don't know how it's going to play out. And I probably am going to get a very, very bad rank for this. But uh, this map is pretty challenging and... Uh, I guess in a, in a way it'll show you how creative you have to get if you do want to get an A or even an or if you want to get an S rank or even an A rank for that matter. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the CO I'm going to use for this map uh, I've decided between either Max and Conde. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Max just to have a little extra movement whenever I use my CO power. Um, our opponent for this map is Grit, and Grit is actually quite formidable, because he kind of has his own little empire set up already, and he gains, uh, let me check really quickly, he gains 14,000 funds per turn, so he can crank out some of his best units out really, really quickly, and obviously his best units are going to be indirects, and his indirects are very, very deadly on this map, just because they can cover a very, very, very wide range. So, uh, you can't really take this map lightly. You kind of have to do what you can to win. Otherwise, well, you're not going to win. That's that's basically all I have to say about it. So, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to start out by building just three infantry. going to keep it simple. Uh, I'm not going to build an infantry here, though. I guess I could. Yeah, fine. I'll go ahead and do it. Um, I'm going to kind of focus on going up through this way and kind of ignoring these cities down here. Because Grit has a very big tendency to kind of ignore the units he puts down here. If anything, he puts his indirects down here, leaving this side with mostly his tanks and all of his other units. So uh, that is what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to try to focus on getting a nice little foothold at the top. And then if I need to, I can build a few units down here to take out whatever he builds. But, for the most part, I won't have to worry about that just yet. So let's go ahead and keep moving our units north, or let's start moving our units north, I guess is a better way to say that. Um, and now I'm going to be pretty much doing this every turn, but I'm going to build an infantry and a tank every single turn for quite a few turns. It's going to be a while before I mix anything up, so just going to uh, warn you guys of that right now. And I believe on the second turn he goes ahead and buys a rocket, so we have to watch out for the range of that rocket, because uh, if you don't remember, Grit does have plus one uh, indirect range, and that can be quite lethal, especially on a map like this. Okay, um... I'm put you right here, just out of your range. I'm gonna keep moving these guys up. And I can also get my first tank up here. And like I said, I'm gonna be focusing on just building a tank and an infantry for a few turns, so. Yep, I'm gonna have very, very, very predictable moves, but the computer AI is not really gonna notice that. And look, he's going to send his art, uh, his uh, indirect units down here. He's not going to send them over here where they'd actually help him. Which is kind of an AI flaw, I guess you could say. Not really sure why he does that, but... In a way, it's good that he does, because otherwise you're probably not going to win this map very easily if he does anything else. Okay, so I want to be kind of smart with this. Uh... I think I can put the infantry right here and be pretty well covered. And yeah, I guess I'll just keep moving my units forward. Even if you try to go for these cities over here, you're going to pretty much be fighting him for them anyway. So that's why I kind of developed the don't do anything with them strategy, because he's not going to 
really build too many infantry, so it's going to be a while before we can actually capture these. And if worse comes to worse, like, uh, you can just use one of the tank units I build over here to just take out any opposition if they get too close. So that's kind of the uh, general strategy I'm going for in this map. Let's see if it actually works out, though. Okay, so yeah, my tank unit got hurt there. And look, yeah, he's still sending his uh, indirect south, so I do have this uh, medium tank to worry about, but that's fine. I can uh, find a way past that. Okay. And, like, even though it's a medium tank, Max's tanks should do okay enough against the medium tanks. And another thing that I will suggest when you're going through this is um, don't try to go for the medium tank at first. Kind of let it wear itself out. Because uh, for some reason that is actually pretty effective. Okay, so um, let's see. I can go ahead and take this guy out if I really want to. Or at least, you know, weaken these guys. Yeah, you know what? That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to weaken these guys. So there. Now they're not going to be too much of a threat this next turn. And then I can start trying to maneuver around that medium tank. You can probably get a good idea of how this um, plan is going to work in the long run. Because as you can see, that he's sending mostly indirect units this way. He doesn't have any tanks or anything. So even if a unit does get close, like, they're not going to be able to capture for very much or for very long. So that's kind of the uh, beauty of this plan. I just really, really hope it works. Like I said before, like, I've practiced the strategy before on this map. And uh, the last time I did, it was about, like, four months ago. <laughs> And it did succeed. It did take me a few extra turns, though, but in the long run, it did succeed. So I have had success with this plan. It's just gonna, it's just gonna end up see, being that can I succeed again with it? Okay. Well, still not gonna worry about these guys. They're not much of a threat. Um, let me see. Can I? Uh, can't quite kill you, which is what I'm hoping I could do. I'm just gonna do this. Aw, oh, shoot. One HP. I hate when that happens. Okay. Wish I could get a unit right here, but that's very, very wishful thinking. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna keep mostly my infantry units in front. That way I can block against the tank and uh, recon units. Seems like a good strategy anyway. Um, I'm gonna move you right here actually. More tank right there, more infantry units. And that should do it, I think. Tank, infantry, and Now, uh, when I originally told you guys I was having some trouble with this mission, a lot of you guys suggested looking up uh, an FAQ or a walkthrough of this map on YouTube. And there are a few S-rank type playthroughs of this map that I could have easily copied. However, there is a big luck variance to those walkthroughs because if you try to do like some of those perfect S rank videos that you see on YouTube, you're going to find that the enemy doesn't do the same t the same thing every time. And plus I find those strategies very very boring anyway. I like to actually play the map, not try to cheat maps out. I guess it's not really cheating out because you are using a strategy, but still, like, I don't know, just more fun to do it the way I'm doing it, at least in my opinion. 
Okay, so now we can try to stop these guys. Watch out for uh, Mr. Rocket over there. Mr. Rocket always has to be very, very annoying with this. I guess one thing I could do is I could keep moving my guys forward anyway. Because eventually it's going to get to the point where they have where he has too many targets to shoot. So he's not going to be able to move or shoot very effectively. That's kind of what I'm trying to go for right here. But I am going to try to keep the uh, tanks out of range because I am going to need those in the grand scheme of things. I wonder if I could maybe get rid of the tank with one of my infantry. I'm sure I can because of uh, how weak Greek, Greek units are. Okay, that worked. And put you right there, put you right there, and yeah, for the most part, all my tanks are still out of danger. It's just the rocket up here I have to worry about, so that's another thing. Just make sure you're always out of enemy fire and you should be good. Soon I'll have to start worrying about these guys, though, which not a problem. We'll have to deal with them eventually. Okay, day seven. It's also good that his CO power isn't quite there yet, although we have been only really destroying infantry units. Oh, he's going to send his uh, first rocket back. So yeah, I guess he's kind of realized that, oh god, he's actually trying to capture through this route, so... Yeah, he is getting a little smarter, and here's where we can actually start trying to fight these guys now. <clears throat> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Crap. I was seeing if I could maybe get to this guy, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. No. It'd be nice if I could get to this guy, but I can't, so I'm going to have to probably take a few shots in the face with uh, one of his rocket units, but that's fine. That's fine. I think I'm going to do what I can to make this turn... Very, very productive. Let's see. I'll have the most problem with these three units. The recons I'm not too worried about. Let's see if I can maybe get rid of the uh, tank at the very least, which I know I can. Okay, that works. Then, oh, I can actually start covering up the uh, um, bases if I want to. I'm trying to decide if that would be a good move, though. Or if I should just go for the uh, infantry. Actually, let me check something really quick. Uh, CO? Shoot, okay, he is going to use his CO power next turn. So I am probably going to lose two units at the very most, probably three units because I have this medium tank right here, so... Only thing I can really do is just try to destroy as much as I can. Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure about this, guys. I'm going to try this and see if this will be good move. Probably not, but... Yeah, I'm not sure about this right now. Okay, so this guy is coming forward, so... Uh, next turn is when I'm going to start focusing on these guys down here. And let's see what happens. Like I said, I'll probably lose three units right here. Maybe a little more with those recons in the way, but we'll see. Oh wow, they're actually going for the infantry. I'm actually kind of surprised.
Okay, it didn't exactly work the way I was expecting, but this is the point where they're gonna stop trying to build, uh, you know, actual, like, fighting units, and they're gonna focus on spamming infantry and mechs. So this is gonna be our chance right here. Okay. Probably not gonna have to worry about this guy, so I'm gonna ignore these two spaces right here, because they are places to where my, um, tanks can get attacked. Everywhere else I should be fine. But let's focus on down here first. Oh wow. Okay, build a tank. You guys forward. So yeah, like what happened last turn seems a lot worse than it actually is. Because we can we can definitely handle this. It's just a matter of moving all of our units in the right places. Okay, I can move you up here, which is what I was hoping for. Um, can I actually get away with this? Not quite. Shoot. Um, I'm gonna need to destroy you, get you out of the way. Okay, this might actually work. This guy is going to get fired upon by him, but... Sometimes you'll have to have casualties, that's the only thing. I can move you right here. Keep moving these guys forward, too. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, he has this medium tank still, but... It's only going to be able to destroy one thing per turn, so it's not going to be that helpful for grit, so that's a good thing about it. And we'll, we should be getting our CO power soon, too. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Had a feeling that was going to happen. And look, they've actually kind of, like, just gotten out of the way, and, like, for some reason the mech didn't even attack right there. So I can actually break through and get to the HQ on this turn, but I still have this rocket to deal with too, because I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to want to capture with this rocket in the way, so that is one thing to keep in mind, but for now, I'm going to use our CO power. I wonder if I can just sneak up on this rocket, but I probably can't. So I guess for now I'll just focus on getting rid of you guys. And as you can see, this uh, bottom section is pretty much secure. Don't have to worry about them trying to take my HQ now. But I still have to deal with these other guys, so let's uh, get destroying on this front. We can also try to destroy the... Uh, a medium tank as well, if we want to. But it's not super important. Okay. I can actually do something like this, too, where I can just start trying to capture that space. Maybe not the most productive thing to do, but it's something I can do. Okay, got you out of the way. Get you out of the way. I'll go ahead and attack you. And yeah, like, uh... Again, this is like the only unit that's really capable of doing damage to me, so... I'm actually in a really, really good position right now. So we're gonna end this turn, see what he does, and then move from there. Now we can capture this, we have one of his bases now. 
And actually... Oh, okay, yeah, you're stupid, because you left yourself vulnerable right there, so... Now we can actually chase this guy. Chase and destroy this guy. Oh, and I can, I can actually start capturing this, so... And that was probably stupid to try to capture the space then, but whatever. Sometimes we make mistakes. Um... Okay, let me do the, let me do this. Oh shoot! Oh well. Okay, that'll work. Okay then. So yeah, this is uh, working out really well. Not sure what kind of uh, ranking to expect. It's probably going to be like a B or a C or something though. Okay, snipe attack, that's not going to do very much damage. Yeah, just destroy one unit and they'll probably destroy another one. Oh wow, he didn't even move the medium tank. I think at this point he's kind of realized, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think he won. So now he's not going to do anything. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and move all my tanks over and just try to destroy this thing. But, it's going to be a lot better to just try to capture this, because otherwise... This will take forever, so... Um... I'll just build a tank. And yeah, it's over. It's uh, gonna be over next turn, so... I guess we'll start spamming for my technique score. there. Just gonna spam some more. And there we go. Map completed. So yeah, that was Ridge Island. As you can see, it is a very, very difficult map in its own right. But with the right strategies, you can become victorious. So I got an A-rank too, so I'm actually really satisfied with that. Uh, so yeah, uh, this has been the uh, return of the Weekend Mini Project. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time for the next map. Let's go ahead and see what it is, and we're also an Opal Steed now. And the next map we're going to do is... Bounty River, which is going to be a very, very long one, so... Uh... Yeah, expect multiple parts for this map, because this map is long. So yeah, this has been some Kirby. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.